हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड फाइनली मेनी ऑफ यू हैड रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक दिस वीडियो फॉर ईच एंड एवरी असेंडेंट दैट व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन ऑन 11th अगस्त एंड दिस इज अ सोलर इक्लिप्स बिकॉज द प्लैनेट्स सन मर्करी एंड राहु इंक्लूडिंग मून आर गोइंग टू बी कंजंक्ट इन वन जोडियक साइन एंड दैट इज कैंसर राइट सो 11th अगस्त विल मार्क द most important day of this year in a way that there will be new beginnings because whenever sun and rahu are involved then there are new beginnings all right so there you go so today is the video on which areas in our chart will start having new beginnings new openings and new things will be coming because as i said uh, in my last videos pertaining to eclipse is that eclipse is the time when rahu and ketu are trying to influence the sun and moon which actually represent us sun is the atma and moon is the mind manas so when the planets the luminaries sun and moon are involved with rahu and ketu then they become the most powerful times to get our own karma which is represented by rahu and ketu because they are showing our desires and desire is what keeps us taking birth again and again all right so If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, and you want to know which areas of your life this solar eclipse is going to affect you, and which areas you are going to have new beginnings, because this will depend on the dasha and the existing planets which are placed in the sign of Cancer, and the overall horoscope itself, then please go to my website, and you can book a reading with me. You can book different options. If you are planning to get married, then you can also book a marriage reading. or you are already in a relationship then you are having some issues there you can also book a reading pertaining to that and if you want to talk to me personally you can also book the reading there in option 5 uh, especially and if you want help in matters of your career then also you can go to my website you will find the website the link in the description of this video and before i start uh, speaking about this video uh, let me give some information here because this is happening um, on 11th august and we know eclipses are to some extent difficult times okay because there are new beginnings and there can be a lot of stress inside us so the first thing i would like to say here is on 11th august uh, krishna guru ji we all know krishna guru ji i have i had done a video yesterday i posted uh, on my channel that he is doing a uh, this global healing day that has been organized and i will post the uh, link of that video in the description below so you can also have a watch uh, to that video it it's very important because uh, he will be organizing healing mass healing and he's a very beautiful healer so if you are having some difficulties you can watch that video and when you go to that video you will find the description you will find the details of the global healing day in the description of that video okay so that is something which you can do and the other thing i would like to say here is uh, one of my friend his name is prashant mandal and he has also come to my channel i have hired also invited him he is also a very spiritual person so he has recently uh, launched a book on five ways to deal with stress in the workplace so that's a very beautiful book it's a very small book i read it yesterday i was amazed because he is very very experienced he has done his bachelor's from the indian institute of technology guwahati iit and he has done his master's degree in management from the indian institutes of management bangalore iim bangalore so that these two are very famous colleges in india and now he is working in yes bank in mumbai and as we all know you you know i know everybody knows that the workplaces are becoming more and more stressful these days so he has written down a uh, five amazing ways to cope up stress and he is very experienced with the workplace currently and it is placed uh, it, the book is uh, very affordable it is near about 200 rupees in indian currency and it's around 2.8 dollars in usd okay so it's very 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 cheap so i will post the uh the link to amazon in this in the description of this video so if you are interested you can go and uh, have a look at the book and you can also purchase it okay so now first let us discuss what this solar eclipse is and how this is going to impact each one of us we will see that later okay so now what is happening on 11th august the planets sun 
mu are going to be conjunct in the sign of cancer in the nakshatra of ashlesha and don't forget mercury is also there in the sign of cancer and it is also in ashlesha but it is in retrogression which means from the perspective of the earth it is appearing as if the planet is moving backwards although it is actually not moving it appears to move like that and directly opposite of cancer are place the planets mars and ketu in the sign of capricorn so mars is also in retrogression so please take care of that okay mars and mercury are retrograde during this and saturn is also in sagittarius in mula nakshatra in retrogression but it is not involved in this cancer capricorn axis because it is in sagittarius so the most important planets here to be taken into consideration are mars and mercury all right now what is ashlesha basically so i had done a video with anuradha sharada ji on ashlesha nakshatra and I, I i will also give the link in the description of this video so i have done the part one and tomorrow i'll be releasing the part two so ashlesha nakshatra you can to understand that more you can watch those videos okay but if you want to understand what ashlesha is in a nutshell see the cancer zodiac sign is a very beautiful zodiac sign it shows the mother actually the divine mother is seen by the zodiac sign of cancer so the nakshatras which come in the sign of cancer the first nakshatra is punarvasu punarvasu is what basically punarvasu represents doing things for others selflessly okay that is where it begins actually it doesn't happen there punarvasu has some level of expectation and uh, with it there's a level of entitlement which can be there but it is that place where the gen journey of selflessness starts where the journey of selflessness begins especially the fourth pada of punarvasu is coming in the sign of cancer and the remaining three padas go to the previous zodiac sign of gemini so then what happens is when jupiter comes into punarvasu if somebody has jupiter placed in cancer in punarvasu it is considered to be exalted 0 to 3 degrees and punarvasu is the nakshatra of giving and taking okay so whenever you give out spiritual knowledge which is jupiter you receive more of it the more you give the more you get and the more you get the more you should give but then comes the zodiac uh, then comes the nakshatra of <coughs> pushya which is considered to be one of the best of the zodiac uh, of the nakshatras because that is representing the breasts of uh, the the uh, cows cows udder as they say yes and it also represents the uh, mother's breast because that contains milk which uh, upon which the uh, baby feeds yes so the mother uh, is very selfless when she is feeding milk to her baby so the mother is not thinking oh maybe this uh, baby will do something for me later yes when i when i grow up and when i become old this this baby will take care of me the mother is not thinking like that the mother is simply trying to selflessly serve the baby and the mother is simply happy doing that and then we have the nakshatra of ashlesha which comes after pushya so what happens is when there is a transition from pushya to ashlesha if we are not able to do things selflessly in pushya then there is the nakshatra of ashlesha which is controlled by the sarpas yes the nagas that 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 nakshatra is represented by the nagas and sarpas the snakes so why is it said the snakes because there is a level of entitlement and expectation which again comes after you cross pushya which actually should not come but somehow it comes so that is why if somebody has planets placed in cancer in pushya will behave totally differently then a person who has a planet placed in cancer in the nakshatra of ashlesha totally different uh, both the dispositions of the people are because pushya is a very selfless nakshatra apart from nakshatras like revati also and to some extent anuradha also but whenever it comes to ashlesha we, we, we will always find that there is some level of wanting which we have there is a kind of a void inside which we try to fill from external things yes and that is why the poison comes out because the sarpas deal with poison so when that happens what can happen we can try to do we can try to act in ways which are not correct because of that we might try to pull somebody down if you see the nature of a snake it is very envious even if you are not doing any harm to the snake but the snake will still come and try to 
hit you yes without anything they are very envious creatures so this nakshatra ashlesha can have some challenges pertaining to emotions because when it comes to emotions it can get very difficult sometimes to manage them okay so the biggest challenge during this solar eclipse is that we try to balance our emotions we do not vent out our anger which can come due to emotional reasons why do i say vent out our anger because mars is involved mars is venting out something venting out our anger and then mercury is also involved in this eclipse so mercury represents communication so because of that what can happen we can speak very harsh words to somebody which we should which we regret later after the eclipse passes by september or october when the uh, the energy is settled we might suddenly feel oh why did i say that i should have not said that so the first thing we need to do is we need to take care that we do not speak things which we regret later okay then the second thing we need to do is <coughs> if there are any communication problems with somebody it can be anybody our father our mother our sister our brother or anybody or if there is some issue inside our heart which is lingering suppose you are having some clash with somebody now is the time especially after the uh, eclipse ends for example on 12th on 13th we can go and have a peaceful discussion with that person that yes see we decided to work like this but now it's not working so what should we do should we change the terms or should we go apart should we go away from each other yes it we might have to do that kind of these kind of talks with that person or it can be with any group any organization also and there can be certain issues from the past because ashlesha shows the poison which is there inside deep down inside so it can happen that there is something which we have been holding on for very long very 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 long it's like uh, it might happen that we are planning to take a re revenge on somebody as this in a revenge is like a charcoal the more you try to uh, use it your own hand gets burnt yes so to throw the charcoal on somebody you have to first pick it up so if if the other person is hurt but before that you yourself get hurt so the lesson here is for this eclipse that we let go of the grudges which we have against people okay if somebody did not fulfill our expectations ex let us accept it as a part of our own karma and let us not try to blame that person of course i am not saying that you forgive the person but it can happen that we encounter some situation <laughs> situations where we finally understand that what we expected from this person will not be fulfilled or it can happen that somebody else can come and tell us like this that look this is what i expected from you but i did not get this from you so be ready that somebody may say something to you or be ready that you might end up saying something to somebody so now if somebody tells us something that you did not fulfill my expectations then now it's up to you to decide should you go ahead or should you not go ahead but at least from your side you can make sure that you do very good communication because you will be watching this video so you know what i am speaking but the other person may not be into astrology and the other person may not know okay and whichever house the zodiac sign of cancer is falling in your chart depending on your ascendant this will have the most impact and why i am saying ascendant because eclipses when involved with rahu and sun especially they can show new beginnings okay and beginnings will happen at a physical realm that is why it is important to see transits from ascendant in this case i would say okay but whenever transits are happening uh, in the area of jupiter and saturn then we also need to see it from the moon sign but here also you can see it from the moon sign okay so let me give you an example suppose your uh, your ascendant is suppose aries okay then the eclipse is happening in your fourth house but suppose your moon sign is uh, maybe gemini then where is this is this eclipse happening so from your moon sign this is happening in your second house you see so then what can happen is externally things related to the fourth house are hap is happening in your life 
but internally mentally you can feel oh maybe actually the second house is becoming more prominent internally because ascendant shows things which externally happen in your life ascendant will show the people who come into your life ascendant will show the things which you let inside your life externally which means the areas where you go or the things which come to you things or people and moon sign will show those things which are affecting you internally your perception about this world that is getting changed that is getting affected new beginnings are happening in that area okay that you can feel like that so the answer is first you check from your ascendant and then you check from your moon sign okay so let's start let's take the kalpurush kundli so first let's talk of aries ascendants okay oh yes and before i uh, talk of every ascendant specifically uh, somebody was asking me that uh, is there some mantra which we can chant for this eclipse yes there are definitely mantras which we can chant and these mantras have to be specific to lord krishna why do i say krishna because sun mercury are involved and when sun and mercury are involved with the sign of cancer because sun and mercury will show vishnu and uh, vishnu and ram especially but when cancer is coming to play it will show krishna specifically okay it, it will actually show ram and krishna both so you can chant the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya that specifically will help for this eclipse and the other mantra that you can chant it is mentioned in the kali santran upanishad and it is also been very vividly chanted by the people of the gaudiya vaishnav tradition which is very prominent in the eastern part of india okay and that mantra is very uh, famously known as the hare krishna maha mantra so the mantra is hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so these two mantras you can chant every day morning from today you can start or from tomorrow and till the end of august you can continue chanting these two mantras every day morning for one round each so 108 times om namo bhagavate vasudevaya then the hare krishna maha mantra for 108 times in the morning okay you can keep chanting them till the end of uh, august and if you also have time because the sign of capricorn is also involved which is related to saturn so you have to chant a narayan mantra that is om namo narayanaya this mantra is there okay om namo narayanaya now this is optional if you have time you can chant 108 times in the morning after chanting these the other two mantras and if you don't have time then you you do not need to chant this okay but the previous two mantras is they are very important okay so please chant these two mantras so that is what i will say so these two mantras will help you calm down the mind and forgive other people and let go of the grudges which you can have against anybody so now let us go every ascendant wise okay so let's talk of aries first the first zodiac sign in the kalpurush kundli so for you people this eclipse is happening in your fourth house and yes i know aries ascendants one of my friend is an aries ascendant he was telling me the other day that he is planning to go back to his homeland he is planning to go and settle there because this eclipse is happening in your fourth house so these four planets sun moon mercury rahu will be conjunct in your fourth house okay so because of that what can happen you might want to start some new beginning you might want to have a new and uh, new uh, what you say na new experience pertaining to your homeland or if you are planning to start a new education suppose you are 16 years old and you are planning to start your bachelor's if you are an aries ascendant then fourth house also shows education primary education okay so it's a very important time that you start focusing on your education now and if you are married and if you are planning to purchase a property then it can also happen that you end up purchasing a property or if you have property then it can happen that you end up purchasing a car these things can happen and make sure that you do not take decisions too much emotionally just don't take a property because uh, somebody is telling you to take okay or you are feeling that oh maybe i should take no you you sit down and think properly that should i be taking a property do i need it after all so if you need it then you take it if you do not need then refrain from uh, doing any property purchases or if you are planning to take vehicles uh, then you can also do it but 
make sure you take it only if you need it because the problem with the fourth house is sometimes it can give you the feeling that you need everything even when you don't want because that's the house of luxury so if you are staying somewhere outside from your home country then it can happen that now you want to move back to your home country or if you are in some part of india which is very far from your home so then it can also happen that you want to move back to your state because in india the cultures are quite different in different states so you can take uh, the difference between states as different countries only this is what i have heard from my seniors so uh, and especially <coughs> your relationship with your mother will undergo a change now okay now that will be good or bad that will depend on the horoscope what planets are there in the sign of cancer and uh, how the overall chart is getting affected and what the dashas are telling ultimately okay so if you have uh, so if there are some issues with your mother then make sure you sort it out now and then by that you will be able to understand that things can be much happier because fourth house is the house of happiness so if you if you want to do something which makes you very much happy then you can very well do it and you must do it now actually okay that's very important so try to be happy and do things which give you happiness do things which give you fulfillment do things which will give you happiness in the long run okay that is what you can be doing and then let us go to the next group of ascendants so let's talk of taurus here so for taurus this will happen in your third house and what's the third house third house is the house of communication so it can happen that now there are new beginnings related to communication if you are planning to get a job in a communication sector this is the perfect time you can uh, get it okay taurus ascendants or if you are planning to start uh, writing uh, writing a book then also this is a very good time you see because third house is the house of writing so if you are having some ideas and you want to put it on paper is very good you are planning to open a new online business this is the best time taurus ascendants okay best time to start a youtube channel <laughs> so if you are planning that oh i should have started a youtube channel one year back two years back then this is the best time then third house also represents the younger siblings so if you are having a younger sibling then your relationship with the younger sibling can have some change involved change in the sense that you can uh, start doing something new with your younger sibling or there can be something with your younger sibling which you have been ignoring from many days and now finally you have decided no i have to get this done now okay and third house is also the house of new beginnings so if you are planning to open a new organization new company as i said earlier for youtube channel or books those things you can be doing and you will have lot of newer experience in short distance travels so third house is also the house of short distance travel because it shows those uh, travels which you take within one day or two days and now because it's the sign of cancer you might want to travel to places where there are beautiful rivers where there are oceans oceans would be more of pisces i would say but rivers can be taken as uh, cancer so or seas or oceans either way some water body will be linked okay so those things can happen in your life and this is a very good time that we try to focus on our creativity because third house is also the house of creation where we do something new apart from the fifth house so whenever the third house comes into consideration it's very important that we do focus on our creativity and third house also deals with desires and it is also the house of socializing to some extent primarily the 11th and 7th deal with socializing but the third house also has its say okay so if you are planning to socialize meet new people then it's also a very good time but primarily third house represents those areas which we do ourselves which makes us happy in life okay seventh house is those representing those things which we try to do with our spouse and 11th house shows everybody in general but third house shows what we like to do ourselves when we are alone so if you are planning to uh, do some painting then you can do it if you are planning to go to some place you can do it travel alone that's what you can do or you can also travel with people there you go so for uh, taurus people it's a very good time that we focus on things related to third house and we can be much happier by 
pursuing our creative pursuits or if you are planning to open a new facebook page where you are planning to uh, put the paintings which you do and you are trying to monetize it then you can be doing that also okay there are so many things i mean third house represents a million things and then we have the gemini ascendance for gemini this is happening in your second house okay number two so what is the second house second house is the house of our family it's the house of our wealth com combined wealth combined assets so all these things come under the second house it is the house where we store our income basically okay second house shows those things and second house also shows what we eat inside <laughs> and second house shows our speech second house shows our teeth it shows the mouth especially so make sure that we do not uh, communicate wrongly with people make sure we do not get angry and we speak things which we regret later and we need to make sure that we also eat the right kind of foods do not let's make sure that we do not over indulge too much in eating sweets especially cancer relates to sweets so uh, let us uh, refrain from eating too many sweets because that can create some uh, problem of insulin in the body okay and uh, now is the time when we are going to have new beginnings pertaining to finances why do i say finances because whatever money comes from wherever the second the sixth tenth and eleven these three houses they are deposited in the second house okay so now it can happen that there are new sources of money which we are finding suddenly depending on the dasha and depending on other transits and what planets are placed in cancer it can happen and when that is happening we can uh, save all the money in the second house so now if you are planning to open a business or something online or you are planning to find alternative sources of income basically okay then this is a very good time because it can happen that you are already working but there are some other alt alternate sources of income passive sources of income which you are planning to uh, have also like maybe you are planning to open a youtube channel and then you want to earn through advertisements there okay or you are having a website you want to give some ads there these things can happen okay or you want to open a restaurant maybe that can also happen because it's dealing with food now second house also deal with your teeth and the tongue especially this area uh, this part so if you are having any issue pertaining to your teeth or your tongue or your uh, this tonsils especially that's more of third house but you can also take them for second house or if you are having any problem in your gums especially then you can make sure you visit a doctor why do i say that because cancer also deals with uh, doctors to some extent because they heal people they are nourishing the patients and they are trying to heal others cancer is also the sign of healing so if you are having any body problem especially pertaining to your mouth or your teeth then you can visit a doctor now all right and yes ultimately second house is the house of family so if you are married and you are not having a kid then maybe this is the time you can have a kid or you can plan to have or there can be somebody somebody else in your family who is having a, a kid or maybe they are having a grandchild or whoever it is the family expands basically when eclipse is there in the second house there is an expansion of the family that always happens okay so congratulations if you are going to have a childbirth i pray to god that you get a very nice child <laughs> and uh, he or she will be very knowledgeable in the scriptures and he or she will spread the divine knowledge of god and then they will make you proud also like everybody else all right so now let's talk of the next group cancer so for cancer ascendance this eclipse is happening in your lagna itself all right so the lagna is involved so whenever the lagna is involved this is very 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 important that means your entire life is going to have new beginnings now your entire life is going to change cancer ascendance you will start doing new things you will start meeting new people you will start jumping into new endeavors new new opportunities you will start feeling as if you are becoming a different person altogether people will come and tell you cancer ascendance oh you are not the same you know you have changed after the eclipse so that will happen 
if you are a cancer ascendant that can happen very much okay so for cancer ascendants now what will happen in your life that will depend on so many other things for example if you have uh, the planet mercury which is in cancer i mean in your natal birth chart if you have mercury in the sign of cancer then it can happen that you have uh, new beginnings related to finances or related to communication or if venus is there it can happen that new new beginnings pertaining to relationships or your marriage can uh, have a different turn which means that now you and your married married marriage partner can see each other in a different way okay there can be some change within the relationship your understanding can become might uh, might become more mature okay those things can happen and in general you will feel that your life is taking a new turn because the intelligence is shown by the lagna the ascendant because the word dhi is used in the scriptures so when the lagna is involved it shows that the entire intelligence of the person your direction intelligence gives direction basically so your direction is changing okay and if you are having jupiter in the sign of cancer exalted in your birth chart then it can happen that you are having new beginnings pertaining to spirituality or you have to check uh, which houses is that planet which is in cancer ruling in your chart okay so suppose you have mars in cancer in your birth chart and you are a cancer ascendant then for you mars is ruling which houses it is ruling the 10th house so apart from the natural significations of mars you can have new beginnings related to your career also okay so those things can happen and then for leo ascendants this eclipse is happening in your 12th house <laughs> so for your people now you might want to take a trip to foreign lands it can happen i am saying so if you are planning to change residence change your place now is the good time so within 6 months you will see that by december you have a travel to a new place okay it will happen i am saying you any leo ascendant that can happen depending on the dasha and other factors of course in the chart and now is the time you might want to stay a bit secluded stay a bit lonely yes lonely doesn't mean that you are sitting alone and crying it can happen that you want to stay without being in company of anybody it can happen you want to meditate that can happen you want to have some time out for yourself and you want to go to some secluded monasteries some secluded temples you want to go to the mosque or you want to go to anywhere some holy place where there is peace that can happen okay so for leo ascendants it's a very important time that we try to go inward basically because the 12th house deals with those things which we are dealing inside okay so for leo ascendants now is the time that we try to see what actually is inside us and what what is the what's the voice which is there inside us there 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 will be some voice which will tell you that oh maybe you should be doing this maybe you should be doing that that can happen so any internal baggage which we are having we need to ensure that we clean that baggage okay so then we will be much more happier in life and if we are planning to let go of something then this is a very good time so for example if there is something which is lurking inside you in your heart which you are planning to give up from long time this is the best time actually to give up that because then what will happen is you will be much happier after the eclipse goes okay and there can be some uh, losses which you might face okay which you uh, which you already know that you might face but now you will see that it is coming into the forefront but don't worry eclipse is all about uh, things related to rahu so it will appear as if it is a very big loss but actually it is not a big loss okay so it can happen that you might have to leave your homeland and you get admission in a foreign country to study so you might think i have to leave my homeland now i have to leave my mother's food i have to leave my my sari or salwar i have to go to uk or if you are in uk my, maybe you come to delhi to study indian studies or something like that so something might appear that oh i am losing this but actually it's not a loss it is it will be your gain ultimately okay so now let us see for virgo people okay so for virgo people this eclipse is going to happen in your 11th house yes 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 
it's the most famous house the most important house in kaliuga today because it is the house of money it's the house of network circles associations meeting people large organizations groups big things 11th house is the second house from the 10th house therefore 11th house represents the gain of your career all right so when there is an eclipse in your 11th house this happens every 18 years so it is the best time actually so virgo people thumbs up why do i say this because now you are going to meet new new people you're going to socialize more and this will be more pertaining to your career so suppose you are joining a new company then this will turn out to be very favorable for you you'll be meeting new people and then you will meet new seniors you will meet the vice president maybe you meet the ceo you you meet the coo all the big people you will be meeting and then you can make your contacts through them and through them you can go up the ladders of corporate and if you are a businessman then this is also a very good time to collaborate with other businessmen okay who are also in your domain or maybe in some other domain you can start something new because 11th house is the house of income so when uh, the eclipse is happening in the 11th house you will see that new new avenues for income uh, is coming from all sides from 10 directions this is happening and suddenly you will uh, start feeling oh somebody will call you and say hey i have this idea for you hey i have this business idea hey i want to do this with you what do you think about this so you can always uh, start doing things with people depending on what it is so suppose you are in an embroidery work then maybe you can collaborate with 10 other people suppose you are with uh, having a youtube channel then you can uh, do more videos with other youtubers who are having the same number of subscribers or a bit more subscribers or even you can promote those who are having less subscribers than you in your channel because by that you will gain a lot of things and you can also be you invited to the uh, channels of others okay that can happen very much and it can happen that suddenly uh, from nowhere you are surrounded by too many people all the time which means that you will be now sitting in between so many people that will happen so if you are a student you are studying then it can happen that you make new friends in your school that can happen or if you are going to a new university it can happen that you are making new friends there and because rahu is the significator of those things which are not very conventional it can happen that you are making friends who are from different community different religion different background different ethnic uh, culture it can happen so it can happen that you make friends from brazil from china from portugal from india from all the countries and especially if you are in a foreign land then it can happen that you meet people who are from other countries who have also come to this very land to study or for uh, working that can happen i have seen especially in every case when this happens so now if you are planning to expand 11th house is what basically it's the house of expansion so now if you are having any plans to expand anything what you are doing suppose you are having a youtube channel and now you want to take your channel to a different uh, level altogether or your business or your work then now is the time that you do it because now either you want it or you don't want the things are going to exp expand so now it's like saying the universe is saying oh yes I'll help you to expand it and so you should also be yes I will do things on my own and I will collaborate with others and then whatever comes of its own accord I will accept it so it's a very powerful time for Virgo people fantastic time it is in fact and whenever you go to a social circle you meet other people then always try to make contacts just don't go and talk superficially to people of course we should not just go to talk to people to make contacts but now is the time uh, we have to make our bonds more stronger and because rahu is involved so it can happen that uh, sometimes there are some superficial contacts which are being made superficial contacts means okay today this person is there tomorrow that person is not there so it, that can happen so if that is happening then uh, you have to understand this is the energy of rahu so you have to get used to it so don't mind okay and if you have any planets placed in virgo in your birth chart then this can happen that 
uh, then it can happen i mean in in cancer in your 11th house for virgo ascendance then it can happen that you are meeting people from those category more so suppose you have jupiter in the 11th house in cancer then it can happen you are meeting people in a spiritual community that can happen if it's venus you are meeting lot of females if it is mercury you are meeting lot of people in general okay friends in general so there are so many other things but depending on your chart it will depend on what kind of friends you are making what kind of connections you are making all right so then let's go to the next group of ascendants which is libra so for libra this is happening in your 10th house so they say that whenever there is an eclipse in the 10th house the person becomes a king <laughs> so now all you libra people you may become the king also oh my god you will become the president of a country you know every libra there are so many libra ascendants everybody may not become the president of a country but you will become like the king in your own circle because 10th house is the house where sun obtains its directional strength so that is one of the favorite houses of rahu because from there it can take the throne of the sun because that's the throne of the king so there that is the house where rahu feels yes i am at my highest power i am at my greatest dignity in the 10th house because now everybody will be looking towards you everybody will be looking to you and you will be in the limelight 10th house shows those people who are in the limelight of course so when there's an eclipse in the 10th house then you will get some very big name fame in your career you may get a very big job it can happen you might get a very big job in fact i remember in 2016 when the eclipse was in leo and uh, many of my friends some of them are scorpio ascendants for them this was in their 10th house so they had got a very big job in fact some of my friends here in germany i know about them personally so this is the best time perhaps for you libra people all the hands are up for you thumbs up so now if you are planning to apply for a job now is the time that you apply if you are already in a job now is the time that you apply to some big company yes big can that may depend on uh, how which companies you consider as big but if you are it professional then you might consider applying to google to microsoft to facebook or to and if you are in the business domain you can consider applying to mckinsey or bcg there so many companies are there we know we all know about those big big corporations and if you are unemployed then this might be the best time that you get a new job and you start working now suppose you are planning to open your own business suppose you are you you, you are working but you are like Oh, i'm done with all this i don't want to do all this anymore i don't want to work under somebody then if you want to do something of your own this is the best time for all libra ascendants now is the time that you will do it because now is the time that your karmas will change yes 10th house is the house of karma and majority of our karma goes during the work so that is why they say is the house of work actually but uh things like entrepreneurship for example opening your own business your own company they require a lot of self effort hard work discipline perseverance you need to take vows that i'll be working relentlessly even if people are accepting me or people are not accepting me therefore now if you are planning to change your career domain altogether suppose you want to open a youtube channel and you want to show uh, drawing papers yes drawings or you want to uh, launch your own book you want to do this you want to do that this is the best time you want to do something big and if you are already in some uh, partnership or you are already in a merger with some other company or with some other people within the group then this is the best time where you can actually do bigger things okay you now is the time that you take your work to the next level i am not talking of income here because income is more from the second house and the 11th house that will automatically come but now is the time that libra ascendants they focus on their work especially so become very hard working become very committed become very dedicated and by that you will see that your efforts are been rewarded because when rahu transits the 11th house then definitely something big happens this i have seen in my uh own case also and in so many other cases also in my own research 
so best time for you you will not get this in the next 18 years so whatever you do now will set the trend for the next 18 years so only after 18 years rahu will be coming back okay to your 10th house so now is the time you show to everybody look i wanted to do this you did not believe me i will show it to you now and now i am telling you whatever you do you will get success there and to what extent you will get the success that will depend on what kind of planets are placed there if planets like mercury venus are placed who are friends of rahu in your 10th house that means if somebody is libra ascendant then you have planets like mercury venus in the 10th house then this will be a very good time for you you will meet new new people in your career space you can have association of lots of females that can also happen and apart from that you will meet many people in general because mercury venus signifies people in general okay so this is a very good time utilize this and show to everybody whoever used to tell you that oh you are not you will never achieve this now is the time that you show them look you said i can't do it here you see i did it <laughs> don't be obsessed with the results focus on your work okay if you do your work the results will come automatically so now let's go to the next group of ascendants which is scorpio yes 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 for scorpio people the eclipse is happening in your ninth house ninth house is the house of god is the house of dharma religion spirituality is the house of your father is the house of divine wisdom is the house of divine knowledge it is the house where you understand your divine connection with god so all the scorpio people now is the best time that you focus on your spiritual life if you are planning to learn something new anything it can be a guitar or a sitar or a or harmonium or a piano or the keyboard whatever it is or maybe you are planning to learn how to paint you are planning to learn a different language like german or french or english or hindi or sanskrit or assamese or whatever it is this is the best time now is the best time that you go and connect with your guru you can also meet a guru that can also happen you can also meet a guru and your spiritual life may start again or your spiritual life will get a very big boost so this is the time when you will become more spiritual because the eclipse is happening there so ninth house related things will become very prominent suddenly even if you have everything you will feel that oh i need to be more spiritual now you will want you will want to travel to travel to long distance places because ninth house shows long distance travels and then finally you will realize that oh i also need to become more spiritual and when you do this you will become more mature you will gain more maturity and you will learn to control yourself you will learn to improve yourself suddenly you will start reading books related to motivation yes motivational speaking you will meet different counselors you will meet different guides you will meet different kinds of people who inspire you or you might become a person who is inspiring others like we have the example of uh, raf smart he has a channel of uh, around 1 and 1 1 and a half million subscribers his the channel's name is infinite waters so he is inspiring millions every day by his channel so please visit that channel and we also have so many other examples like pandit ravi shankar is there then so many other people they have been inspiring others yes by their own example by their own divinity by their own practice of spirituality then we have people like prince ia is there uh, then jay shetty is also there so many people the great dalai lama is there so many people i am saying so now is the time you can become a great leader and you can lead people as in the scriptures it is said tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrityurma sadgamaya that is also said in the scripture so it is a fantastic time to connect to the divine source it is a great time to visit holy places it is a great time to go and meet your guru and discuss about spirituality to discuss about spiritual wisdom it is a great time where you start reading the bhagavad gita you start reading the quran or the bible or whichever tradition you are belonging to and now when you read you will be understanding what the scriptures are telling and by that you will be able to understand that there are things beyond this world also and beyond this realm also which will give us fulfillment in the long run 
all right so now is the time that you will focus on divinity and you would want to connect to god on a higher level you will start meditating you will start do doing so many new things and people may ask you what is going on in your life you don't seem to come to parties and you are like oh did i just have an eclipse in my ninth house all right so that's the beauty of the ninth house that you will be forgetting everything else and you will be running towards god just like draupadi used to draupadi when she was being uh, summoned to the assembly of hastinapur and when she understood that nobody can protect me then she raised her arms high in the air and she called out to krishna and lord krishna came and protected her okay so congratulations eclipse in the ninth house and make the best use of it okay and then we have sagittarius sagittarius lagna people yes 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 now the eclipse is in your eighth house the eighth house is coming into picture what is eighth house eighth house is the house of lottery eighth house is the house of the income of others all right so now suddenly you might you might see that somebody else is calling you and saying hey i want to invest in your company <laughs> you will get money from others you will gain from other people you will gain things in a way that you cannot imagine all right and at the same time eighth house is having the com- uh, the component of fear in in it so it can happen that suddenly you might develop some new fears but don't worry those are all only typical rahu type fears it will only just create the fear but it can't do anything okay and then it is the house of hidden things so if you are a beginner in astrology you might suddenly feel that oh my god what is happening to me i am wanting to learn astrology i am wanting to do this i am wanting to do that why this is happening why in the universe is that happening to me you might not be able to understand but the reason is that the eighth house is opening up for you now so all the secret stuff from this world will come to you now yes all the secret information you will feel like reading whatever is there that who created this universe why is there suffering where is god who is this what what is that you will want to learn all this and eighth house is also the house of intimate connections with people so you will want that whatever connections i have in this world today i want to deepen those connections and then i also want to take those connections to a higher level so suppose you are in a relationship with somebody then you might plan to get married or if you are already in a relationship then you might think that oh maybe there are some problems within my relationship i need to clean out the mess which is there i need to improve my relationship i need to give everybody else their due i need to give everybody else the space so when we do that then we will realize that our existing connections are becoming more deeper more concrete more solidified more intimate that's happening so that is why now is the time that we try to engage ourselves with other people not externally but with the existing people who we have we try to deepen our uh, connection so that will be very good on those lines and yes ultimately is the house of occult also so reading new scriptural books on creation of this universe on astrology is always favorable for you so sagittarius good luck do good and it is also the house of sadhana eighth house is also the house of sadhana so it is good if we do some sadhana some kind of fasting especially if there are some difficulties in your chart you can make sure on those days you can fast so for example if your saturn is not well placed then you can ensure that on saturdays you can do some fasting till 12 pm afternoon or if you are having difficulties in relationships then you can fast on fridays because of venus then if you have difficulties in dealing with people in general then you might fast on wednesdays for mercury and if you are having difficulties in having children or with your gurus then that's jupiter so we can fast on thursdays or if you are having problems with your father then we can fast on sundays because it's the sun and if it's your mother then it's the moon and if you are having issues with your brother or with your courage and self esteem then you can go on fasting on tuesdays these are the things that you can do okay sagittarius especially these are these are some level of austerities which if we do they will benefit us in the long run okay so it's a very good time to go inside to go deep inwards and by that 
we will understand that there is more to life than superficial surroundings that we see in this world okay let's talk of the next category now capricorn yes 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 capricorn 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 this is happening in your seventh house so if you are single now is the time that you get into a new relationship or if you are already in a relationship maybe now is the time that you plan to get married with that person all right and new beginnings will happen pertaining to relationships so if you are not in a relationship then this is a good time that if if you are in india and if you are uh, following the system of arranged marriage then it's a good time that you start searching proposals for yourself and if you are uh, in the west where the arranged marriage system is not there there you can go on dating people and you can meet other people and who knows you might find your soulmate there <laughs> because rahu deals with the soul in one level because that's dealing with your desire so who knows you might find your soulmate suddenly and if you are already in a relationship and if you are already married then it can happen that you are having a new beginning in inside that very relationship okay something about your partner you might discover which you didn't uh, know you might uh, you might be thinking oh maybe that that person is like this but then now you come to know that person is different that person likes this that person doesn't like that all right these things can happen and it can also happen that somebody from the past can also come back it can also happen that you might have a ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend that person may suddenly start contacting you that can happen and it can also happen that you get back in a relationship with somebody with whom you had been in a relationship or it can be with somebody new also and it can also happen that you are meeting more people of the opposite sex in general so if you are leading a happy married life uh, if you are having this transit if you are a capricorn ascendant then it can happen that uh, suddenly you are meeting uh, many members from the opposite sex in your workplace it can happen that can happen or maybe you are forming new business partnerships because seventh house is also the house of business so when the seventh house is coming into picture there are different things which come it's not just marriage or relationships okay so many things are there so collaboration doing things with other people so seventh house also shows the community where we live in one way so if we are already staying in a community then now is the good time that we try to mingle with the people in the community well and now is the time that we want to develop more connections with the community that we are in already see the 11th house will represent very large communities okay it's like a very big organization but the 7th house can also represent that but 7th house will generally represent your uh, circles which are very nearby yes for example your family members your spouse your close friends acquaintances are more of the 11th house and friends but close 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 friends are to be seen from the 7th house also at times because they are people who with whom you are very close you are exchanging lot of energy with them so if you are uh, having acquaintances now is the time that you can convert them to friends now is the time that you can enter into a new partnership with somebody new business deal you can sign now is the time that you can feel that i want to do something together with another person all right so that can involve things like marriage or relationships or business and if you are already collaborating with somebody else in a business or a partnership now is the time that you take your business or collaboration to the next level so you can start working on a new project inside your team or you might feel that you are doing things alone and now you might get opportunities to do it together with somebody else within a team also so it can happen that inside a team you form a partnership with one person that can also happen i have seen in uh, many examples that it happens or within companies if you are in a particular domain you might change your domain and you might meet a different team all together with them you can work because they will also represent the 7th house because they are also representing your uh, close co-workers with whom you always work together all right so that can happen and you might if you are having a new business it can happen that you want to open another shop somewhere you want to expand your business that can also happen so suppose you are having a shop in delhi now you might say oh i have quite good amount of money 
so why not open the shop more in uh, again another new shop in delhi also in another part of delhi or in mumbai or in chennai or somewhere else or maybe you can come to germany <laughs> so those things you will be able to do now and now you have to always remember that we have to do things together so rather than doing things individually it is good if you do things together in a group okay that doesn't mean you surrender your own business i am not saying that i am saying whenever you get opportunities to do things together make sure you do that that will prove very much beneficial for you and that will give you a lot of success name fame reputation and everything <laughs> all right so let's talk of the next group of ascendants which is aquarius so for aquarius this eclipse is happening in your 6th house so what is the 6th house 6th house is basically the house of hard work is the house of labor is the house of discipline it is the house of health it's the house of enemies it's the house of difficulties and struggles so now the first thing you need to do is you need to have a very 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 disciplined life this is the first thing you need to do aquarius ascendants you must do this because now it uh, you might feel that i want to dev devote more time to my health rather than my work or my career or my family i want to take up a new uh, new jogging jogging class or it's a very good time to join the new yoga class which which might be there in your city somewhere here there and then it is also a very good time that you get into any kind of new medication if you are planning to take a health check up then this is the best time that you go and you check your health and because it is the sign of cancer you can especially uh, make sure that you check the things like diabetes that can be there sugar issues can uh, be there if you are already having then that those problems can aggravate at times and uh, you can do some check of your lymphatic nodes that can also be good and then some check up related to your uh, blood also you can do Th these are just examples i don't have much idea of medical astrology but whatever i know i am just saying so even if everything is fine it is good that good if you go and do a check up of your body and then every morning you might get up and do surya namaskar that that is also a very good thing to do and then you might want to achieve some very competitive task which somebody might have given which your boss might give to you okay so these are also various options which you can try and when you do this you will realize that your life is happy because when there is an eclipse in the 6th house to some extent there will be some kind of discomfort in your life which will come uh, so rather than running away from it discomfort in the sense that you will have to do some more hard work so if you are in uh, a company you are working under somebody you have a boss now the boss may say that oh you need to work more so what's the problem let's work more yes what's the problem if we are in a business then our business can demand more time so now is the time that we give more attention to what we should be doing in life rather than just going around partying or meeting new friends socializing enjoying having fun those things we can do later but now is the time that we focus on work we be serious in life we be sincere and by that we will see that at the end of the day when we go to sleep our life is very happy we will be able to sleep very nicely because ketu is sitting there in the 12th house remember rahu is in the 6th and ketu is in the 12th house so whenever we are seeing this energy rahu in the 6th and ketu in the 12th we always have to remember that when we work hard in the 6th house which is the house where rahu is then we will be able to sleep peacefully where uh, because ketu is there in the 12th house so ketu will give us moksha moksha is uh, sleep is in one way moksha only yes we are peacefully lost <laughs> so now is the time that you can work hard and 
the best suggestion i can give to aquarius people is that you work so hard in the day morning you do yoga surya namaskar day you work hard evening you can join the gym or some do some yoga and by that you will have very good sleep okay maintain a very nice diet if you want go to the dietitian and uh, you can go for uh, having a new diet also that can also be there you can do thing new things like ayurveda that can also happen or because it's cancer so things like homeopathy can also come into the picture okay so these are things which you can do and make a schedule always that i'll get up at 5 am then i will do this and avoid going to parties avoid going to avoid drinking alcohol or taking meat or doing all these activities okay so now is the time that we actually become serious about life aquarius people and when you do hard work always remember the rewards is great and the greater the hard work the greater are the rewards okay so all the best to all the aquarius and i hope that everybody will be working very hard and they will succeed in their life all right oh mercury is retrograde i have to make this video twice thrice only then the video completes so let's finish the last ascendant yes it's pisces the dreamy dreary pisces were always in their dreamland <laughs> <laughs> okay so for pisces people this eclipse is happening in your one two three four five it's happening in your fifth house so fifth house is the reason why you get up in the morning should i repeat fifth house is the most important house of your horoscope because that defines what you are passionate about what you want to do in life what you like to do naturally if nobody tells you to do that we you still keep doing that's what is the fifth house so now fifth house is also the house of your children that is why people naturally love their children even if they have an option to eat something or give it to their children they will always make sure they will give it to their children rather than eating themselves okay so now fifth house shows creativity fifth house is all kind of creative efforts Cre fifth house shows all the blessings that you have fifth house is the house of all the talents that is why it's the house of intelligence because intelligence is also one kind of a talent so whatever good activities we had done in our past lives whatever rehearsals whatever areas we have practiced all the things are stored in the fifth house that is why it is known as the house of purva punya which is past life deeds so now when there is an eclipse in the fifth house it's very important that we start putting things into paper which we like which we look to do in this world which we do look to do in this life which we do naturally without anybody telling us so for example suppose somebody has a planet in fifth house because of which the person always likes to keep drawing things so <coughs> nobody has told them that you go and make some drawing some painting but the person is naturally doing that why why the person is doing like that because that is so much an internal part of the person that the person can't uh stay without doing it suppose somebody is having planets like jupiter the person may always be searching for divine knowledge that always happens mercury can give knowledge related to material things <coughs> venus can give a lot of interest in things related to beauty etc okay and also things like painting if it's moon then the person can like to sing the person can like to connect to other people if it's sun then the person can have traits related to dancing or uh doing things in a big scale okay so whichever planets are placed in your fifth house that will change the course and the trajectory of this eclipse but whatever it is even if you do not know your horoscope or you are not interested too much in astrology then you can just see your own life what are the areas that you are interested in it can be anything it can be anything it, it can be simply anything okay so do that which you naturally want to do without anybody telling you and it is also the house of love and romance so new encounters for love and romance can also come and apart from that it's the house of your children the first child especially so your child can undergo some kind of a transformation in his or her life or your relationship with your child can undergo a transformation that means there can be some new things which come up between you and your child all right so if there are some issues which are already there try to sort it out or it will be sorted uh, within the next 6 months when in the time the next eclipse comes okay 
because eclipses the effect is over six months and sometimes up to one year and if you have very important planets like the lord of the ascendant placed there or you have sun or moon placed in the sign of cancer then i mean in your in your fifth house because for pisces cancer is in the fifth house then this eclipse will be very 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 important okay because this will set the trend for the next six months pertaining to things related to the fifth house so anything creative you want to do and fifth house is also the house of promotions because it's the rebirth of the tenth house because it is eighth from the tenth house so now if you are planning to uh, ask your boss for a raise that can happen now if you are planning to do something in a bigger scale that can also be possible and apart from that fifth house is also the house of subordinates so it, it can happen that you get a lot of subordinates subordinates doesn't mean that you become a leader but it can happen that many people can come and ask you for guidance many people can come and ask you for help many people can come and say oh can you please help me in this area i need your help you are knowledgeable in this area you are knowledgeable in that area so these things can happen so if these things are happening understand that the eclipse is playing its role okay and then you will also be very happy in guiding other people you will also help others who are in distress and you will also be able to gain a lot of happiness out of it and fifth house is the house of happiness so do that which makes you happy in life so that is all i would say regarding pisces and that is all for the all the 12 ascendants and that is all if you are new to the channel and if you are not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it in the link below and if you want a consultation and if you want to know if you can get married or how this eclipse is going to affect you in your career or health or any new relationship or you want a promotion or you are fearing if you will be in the job or somebody is going to fire you or whatever it is or any other problem you are facing in life then you can always go to my website you can book a reading with me personal one-to-one -one, or there are so many other options you will find the link of the website in the description of this video and share it with those who are interested to know how this eclipse is going to affect them all right so until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay bye bye see you